Life. Go to Tracy Brown Life. Go to Tracy Brown Life. Go to Tracy Brown Life. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. I don't know if the mic is loud enough. The mic is loud enough. I'll take it. I'll take it. How is everyone doing today? And welcome, welcome, welcome. I got to sneeze. Oh my God, I got to sneeze. Sorry, guys. Sorry. This thing right here, I don't know if you could see it. Oh, look how creamy that is. And it's canvas. I think it's canvas.com body glaze. Body glaze. You know what I did yesterday? I just left it open so the fumes can the effervescence of the smell can like permeate my whole household. Like I want to buy this as a house thing too, let alone my body. Let me see how it makes me feel. So it's thick. So I put it on right after showering. Because that way my pores are open and I'm not greasy. So I don't know what it feels like if I wait an hour to put this on. I don't know what it feels like because I put it on right away. My skin is smooth. Also, the cracks on my toes are like a butter now. Like, I'm kidding. I don't have cracks on my toes. I'm kidding. But if I did, it's butter now. If I did. You saw it on TikTok? I have to tell you, and I don't promote too many people. This canvas body butter, I got as a gift from one of my group mates. I cannot. I... Oh. I can't even tell you what she has done here. Like, she has changed my life. You know what's so funny? I've been putting this on my body. 
because I can't find anything that makes me feel good. So I, nothing. I don't care what expensive shit is out there in the stores, the Bullseye or the Walmarts. It's all crap. It's all crap. It's all chemicals. It just doesn't work for my black body. I just have to say it that way. Like, we have different skin. And, but white people come on over to the body glaze. You will, it's a little thick. So be prepared, white people. But you will not be disappointed. This right here. So I couldn't find anything to go with my black body. I have to say it that way because I'm in my black skin. And um, so I, I, I got the cheap ver version of baby lotion. That's what I got. I, that's what I that's what I chose. What does it smell like? It smells all right. I've tried everything. I tried Nivea. I tried uh, Vaseline cocoa butter. Crap! Complete waste of money. Um, I tried other versions of cocoa butter cream. Did I throw the creams out? Hold on. Now I could throw this shit out. I don't know if this is cheap or is this the cheap brand? Dermaseal cocoa butter. Make sure this is closed up. Crap. Taste of tropics. Look, I didn't even open the shit. Garbage. Um, another bottle of Dermaseal. I don't know if this is real or fake. Man. Garbage. Body glaze. Bate glaze. Bate glaze. Bate glaze. I don't know who this woman is. I don't even know who she thinks she is. She is queen in my book. You find, listen, everybody can make a shea butter mix, right? Because that's what everybody does for black skin, right? Y'all got shea butter this, shea butter that. She didn't even use shea butter. Shea butter is not even a part of this ingredient. I have never been more in love with the body cream now. And she's got like other stuff. Check out Canvas. She's got other stuff. It's called Canvas Beauty. This is the jam.com. This is... I don't know how long it's gonna last me. This looks it should last me forever, but no, no. And I don't know if it's gonna work for me for the summer, right? Because in the summertime, are you guys like me? Oil is my skin. In the summertime? In the wintertime, I I get dry. In the summertime, I don't know. This is a little dick dick dick. Dickity dick for summer, but we'll see. I'll see. I'll see. Oh, I, I fixed it. Talking about Chantel. Hi, Chantel. Um, let me promote my own products. This is a commercial by Chantel. Hold on. <laughs> I made it. So cute. Easy, breezy, beautiful rosemary oil. Thank you, Jantel. Jantel brought one of my rosemary oils. Let me know uh, how it works out for you. 
also John Tell, um, I'm making a, um, oh, fuck it. I'm not going to say it until it's done. When I, when I do it, then I'll let you guys know. That's what I've learned. <sighs> Look at my lips. Look at my lips. Lightening up. They've gone from blue black to black to blue to dark purple, and now they are light purple. My lips are light purple, although I do have purple lipstick on, so that helps too. Maybe I shouldn't wear lipstick tomorrow morning, and then you guys can judge. But my lips are no longer feverish. Uh, let me tell you something. They gave me amoxicillin. They gave me clitomycin. They gave me deflucan three times because apparently you can catch a yeast infection from taking amoxicillin. I didn't even know this. Or oh, clitomycin. The clitomycin, they gave me two pills. The amoxicillin, they gave me one pill. I didn't know you can catch a yeast infection. Was that always the case years ago? I don't know. Is this something new? Whatever. Um, so. I'm thinking about putting my tooth back in, but to be honest with you, I do have some fear. I just want to make sure the, the infection is completely gone. I really do. That's the only fear that I have. So there's a little tenderness right there. Sixty-one is a bitch. All right. Ooh. There's so many series today. I don't need to tell them all at once. Let me say hello to everyone. Okay. Jenny G. Hey, all. Hi, Steven. Charm. The whole royal thing is a shit show. It's a shit show, Charm. I don't know what the mess is going to come out from day to day. This is so true. Sherry Williams, hello, Dorsell, hello, hello, Dorsell, volume fix, volume fix, volume, okay, volume fix, volume fix, volume fix, volume fix, Bree, hello, Bree. I saw that on TikTok. Yeah, the body gaze. Yeah, is the best. Um, Sire, it's magnificent. What's that, Sire? I use soap and glory. I add cinnamon and light sugar. It changes the scent. Smells good, though. Wait, what? Dorsel, what do you you add to this? Evening, every hey, sweets, Carmel. Hello, 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 Dorsel. Tracy, did you see my text? I sent you about Kamala Harris today. I did see it. But I have to wait until something else comes through. I did see it. Um, I do believe that what you sent me is a precursor to what's about to go down. So I do believe that something is about to go down. But I can't do a predicted in it until... I get further information. So, I did see it, though. Hey, Miss Tracy, got a sinus infection. You do, Christina? Take it easy. Hi, Ro Marie. Hi. Um, yes, antibiotics. Okay, thank you. It's nurse talking. Antibiotics wipes your good and bad bacteria out. Oh, I didn't know that. It leaves you susceptible to infections. You need to increase your pro probiotics, sugar-free yogurt, kombucha, and other fermented foods. That is so funny. Because I looked at kombucha, kombucha, which I love, and I started to pick it up. And I didn't.
Okay. Sugar-free yogurt. Kombucha and other fermented foods. I was just thinking about kimchi. Because kimchi would be fine. Damn. Dorsel goes, I know you're right. I toot your horn, Tracy. <laughs> I toot. Uh, good evening, Angelic Wright. Haven't seen you in a while. Yes, ma'am. I got meds. Oh, thank God. Make sure to take probiotics at least every six months. Oh, okay. Does kombucha count? Not kombucha. Not kombucha. Does kimchi count? I love me some kimchi. Um, I could take a little bit of it, but the spicy kimchi really bothers me. But does kimchi count? Oh my God, Mama G, I said that today. Happy Barack Obama Day. I said that. Oh my God, we're on the same page. I got some probiotic tea. Oh, girl, I never even heard of probiotic tea. How does kimchi uh, kimchi? Remember, it tastes amazing. It's uh, spicy cabbage. <clears throat> All right. I will. <gasps> okay. I'll get me some kombucha tomorrow. And I'll see if I can get Richard. Get me some kimchi. I need some kimchi anyway, or whatever. Hi, Nita. Good evening. Okay, should I go in my British voice for this? No, I don't have the energy. I just despise William so much. I just want to see him in handcuffs for hurting Kate. I just want Kate to be alive. Really, really do. I want her to be alive. This is a terrible, terrible situation if they do not produce this woman. I am shocked at the UK for not making demands. We need pictures. We need her kissing her son, her daughter, the youngest boy. This is history repeating itself. If they hurt Kate in any way, this is Diana 2.0. Miss Mom G said, does uh, the sauerkraut work? And Charm says no. Okay. I only like a little bit of sauerkraut, but I don't think it's pickled enough. Fermented enough sauerkraut. Oh. Okay, so. Yeah. Um, I will get some probiotics tomorrow. I will get some probiotics tomorrow. Pier eat it. Oh, don't you don't you love kimchi? I like bak bak kimchi or bak kim, kimchi, which is white kimchi without all the spices, because the spices increase my headache. High blood pressure. I didn't have high blood pressure, and then I just like because I can I can eat kimchi in one setting not realizing that I'm giving myself high blood pressure. So I have to stop eating the red kimchi. What's whorehound? Yeah, well, remember everyone, history always repeats itself. Unless you're fully alert with history I'm going to, prebiotic or probiotic, I'm going to, um, because I have a cold, I, I, what's a probiotic brand? Because I'll get, some, you know how much I love me some tea. All right, let's stay focused.
Latoya, the scumbag, the drunk, the wayward son, Oh, I, I drink oregano uh, tea every day. Yeah, oh, it, oh, no, 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 no. If you have acid reflux, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Get the white. Get, get the white. Kimchi, I mean. A herb that looks like catnip that grows in most areas in the woods or the edge of a cow pasture. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Do you guys want to finish talking about the herbs? I eat mild. Yeah, I just don't believe that mild is mild. Because mild, like, it's all like, what's mild and what's not mild? God, I was in the store today. I'll get some um, kombucha tomorrow. I'm not going to worry about the kimchi, but I love me some kimchi chow. It's the Asian in me. I don't believe I have Asian in me, but I love me some damn kimchi. Kimchi. All right. Let's stay focused. Um, William? is a horrible prince and William is okay not caring for his wife. Why was he even at the BAFTA Awards? Now look at this. This is him at the BAFTA's award. today, right? Look at that velvet suit he has on. Yay for the velvet suit. Look at the drunk with the same damn velvet suit. Did anybody notice how goofy William is? Are you starting to notice that he's uncomfortable in his own skin and he's goofy? Yeah, Chom says he's trying to make everything seem as normal as possible. He is, but yeah. You ain't fooling us Americans. You fooling your own people, but why they are falling for it, I just cannot. I cannot figure it out. I cannot, I can't understand why they're giving him so much grace. But if this would have been uh, Harry, at the BAFTA without his wife, even if they don't like his wife, they would have been like, what a disgusting husband. Oh, sweet calm now. That's how we know something's wrong. He doesn't like this attention normally. So if he's facing this attention, because he did something to his wife. Bingo. What's around William after the Bas the BAFTA? BAFTA. I thought it's called the Bastard Awards. BAFTA. BAFTA. British Film Academy Television. Awards. Ah, piece of shit. Can somebody put in where in the world is Kate Middleton as I do this reading? Hi, Sin W. See, I almost said bastard. I almost said bastard. I really did. Ugh. You know what? When I do the reading, 
I'm exhausted. I'm like this. And I feel like that's Catherine. Um, Rhonda goes, spill the tea, Tracy, spill the tea. I'm trying, sweetie. Let me just... We just type in where in the world is Kate Middleton because nobody's looking for her. This woman could be dead. Where in the world is Kate Middleton? You weirdos. Bunch of weirdos. I'm just put her picture up. Where in the world is Kate Middleton? Does that look like her? It looks exactly like her. It's pretty good. Where in the world is Kate Middleton? It's going to be a cartoon soon because she won't be here. Kate, I'm actually praying that you're alive. I really am. I'm praying that I'm wrong. I'm praying that I'm wrong. You're just so thin. I'm just wondering, how does someone so thin survive a fight? Allegedly, and in my opinion, hold on a second, I'm just get the allegedly button now. In my opinion, allegedly, and speculation, and all that good stuff. Hold on a second. Ugh, I didn't eat dinner yet. Where in the world is Kate Middleton? I pray she appears and make him lose his freaking mind. Me too. All right. Please, God, talk to me. Talk to me about William. Please allow me to see anything and everything that you would like for me to see. William's your child. He's your love. He's your beloved, Father God. Please authorize me to see and say what you would like for me to say and see. I love you, God. I love you, Jesus. In your name, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. Please get a reading with me at 213-458-7408. Please look at the horoscopes. All the signs are up. They've been up for uh, February. So please look at the horoscopes. You could be prepared for anything that's coming for you. All right. Let's get this party started. Three of Wands. Something is coming in. Now, normally, this is a good card, right? Normally, this means the ships are coming in. I wish I had my book right now right? Normally it's a good card, but what this means is anticipation that something is coming in, right? Something's coming in. Usually it's an old-fashioned card, so it usually means the shipment is coming in, right? Something from another country is coming in, and the flowers mean it's good stuff. Normally that's what it would mean. Except what's crossing is a woman sick. Stress. Fear. This might also be him, now that I'm thinking about it. This also might be him. Um, even though it shows a woman, the representation of a person in fear for their life. Because something's coming and stressed about it. Can't sleep at night. 
a little delusional. What used to be a solid grounding, you see that wall right there, is starting to crack under pressure, right? having to seal something up, right? So that people can't see. Look at what's behind the swords, right? The moon is deception. I don't even know what this is. Does anybody know what this is? In the three of swords? In the nine of swords? But the swords are covering something. It's an illusion of sorts. But as long as something's covered, what's happening to the person, which is William, the stress is a constant reminder. A queen of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries woman shows up. I think adds to his stress. The two of sources in the past. So how he's trying to stay perfectly balanced. And what you guys don't know in this card, because I don't have a, a card that represents the true meaning, but I'll show it to you. There's a storm brewing here. This card doesn't represent that. But there's a storm brewing, and the person is not leaving the storm. So I'll give you a good example. Let me just find the card as well. When firefighters or flood is happening, and they say you have to evacuate, right? And you know you always have those people, the brains that says, no, I'm going to stay and protect my house. No, I don't believe the weatherman, right? And they don't leave. And it's a fatal mistake. Literally fatal. Because you got the warning, right? The two of swords is the warning, right? So let me explain. Hold on a second. Images. Okay, this is a good image. This is a good image. I'm trying to get a traditional card that shows the real image. She's beautiful. Um, I, I found one. Everybody in their new age cards. Let's see if I can find one. This is a good one too. Oh, this is a good one. I think I'm going to show you guys this one. I got two to show you. Hold on. This is, a, this is actually a very good one. You are very, very right. I feel that too. Hold on. 
this is the what normally the two of swords represents the total library <clears throat> This is normally what it looks like where someone is sitting on a storm brewing. Very good. Very good to yourself. You guys are passing class, ignoring the warning by acting like everything is normal. Yes. Um, See that storm coming? That could be a tornado. It just could be like just a really bad rainstorm. But she thinks that she can withstand this storm, storm with her powers. You understand that? With her powers. Now, there's an added addition to this because she's got her hands over her heart. What in the heart is she protecting? Do you understand, guys? What is she protecting? Right? So this is almost like a picture where you're upset, so you go like this. But you act normal. But you really aren't. Um, and then this one is even a better representation because this one, she looks like she's praying and she actually has the swords in the ground. But look at that storm. Why is she praying in the middle of the storm? Are we beyond prayer now? Is action required? Because look, in this one, she's not trusting the energy of the sword. She put the swords in the ground. That means she's grounding her energy, which is very interesting for a sword. Swords, because swords are air. Right? But this podium is not enough to withstand the weight of what this is being carried in terms of energy on. Because that storm is going to wipe her out. Now, either she doesn't see the storm coming, or she knows the storm is coming and is standing in it. It's almost like, let it rip. Doesn't mean that the person believes they could handle it. This card, the way this card is set up, it means with the swords in the ground, I'm ready to deal with the issues that come with this storm. Guys, a decision is going to be made. One week one month. One week, one month, a decision is going to be made and the revelation has to come out. It's going to be documented, meaning he'll say something out loud that somebody has to say something to him. Hold on, let me put this back down. Where he might say something because he can't hold it in anymore. Unfortunately, I feel like he's, his mental health is being compromised. He doesn't know what to do, guys. These are not great cards. Can you guys see what I see? Let me turn these cards around so you guys could actually see it from my perspective. These are the worst cards ever. Can you guys see what I see? This is not good. 
these are some very dark cards. Swords, swords, swords. The cups, not a lot of options for him, right? Something spilled, something's wrong. But can he salvage this? Can he salvage what's about to come down? Can he live through this? I don't know what I mean by that, but I'm going to stick to it. Something's not right, guys. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so seven. Why am I missing something? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, six. Seven. Eight. I want to say this is confessions. It's going to have to confess. Nine. Hopes and fears. Is this Kate? Certainly looks like her. And ten. Wheel of Fortune for me surrounding all these cards. I have to look at the Wheel of Fortune upside down. And I don't read upside down. But based upon the ugliness of all these cards, let's read it. Let's take it to the book. Wheel of Fortune upside down. Let's take a look. All right. Wheel of Fortune. Do, 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 do. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I never saw this before. So, in the beginning of this book, there's a journey, which you guys don't know the story. The journey starts with the fool, and the journey goes from fool, magician, high priestess, empress, blah, 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 blah. I never saw this before, and I've read the book from top to bottom, but when it matters, it comes to you, right? When the fool, because that's how the fool begins, when the fool goes on his journey and he gets to the wheel of fortune, in this card, the fool learns that much of his random and unpredictable full of ups and downs. He understands that he cannot take any day for granted because it may be his last. He comes to appreciate the workings of fate. That there are forces beyond his control and of karma. That what he sows, he shall reap. Astrologers associate the Wheel of Fortune with the beneficent, expansive planet Jupiter. But we know Jupiter when that bitch turns upside down, child. So, let's get to the Wheel of Fortune. When I say bitch, I mean the lovely planet Jupiter upside down. Um, Wheel of Fortune upside down. Reverse. What goes up must come down. Failure. Bad luck. A turn for the worse. Um, a negative twist of fate downside of a cycle because the wheel of fortune has two cycles right a cycle goes up and the cycle goes down he is on his downside of a cycle 
a dead end resistance to beneficial change. It will get worse before it gets better. Um, the fickle finger of fate. Circumstances take an unexpected turn for the worse. Hopes and wishes go unfilled. Life appears to proceed without rhyme or reason. You are entering the downside of a cycle and a period of disappointments before things look up again. This is not a good time to take risks. You need to wait for a new turn of the wheel of fortune. So, how many of us have been on the downside of life? And it seems to go on forever. Most of us have a downside of seven to 10 years. Very, very normal. Even though you think that you're having the worst time of your life. No, everyone has a downside. <clears throat> and in a lifetime, you could have it several times. That's why when the good is here, appreciate the good. That's what I think William is doing. He's like, fuck it. I'll go to BAFTA because I'm about to go to jail. So let me enjoy what I want to enjoy, which is drinking. What do you guys have to say? Like father, like son. He's convicted. It's levels, Tracy. Yes, but what do you mean by that? Speak Hi, Nellie Collins. The j the oh, interesting. The jail. I gotta highlight this stuff. The jail. He tried to put Harry and Megan in mentally. Shall be soon upon him. Oh, Mama G. I did you not see the reading? There's a lot with how this is going down. I. If you didn't see the reading, the one I think I did on Harry, oh, explosive, explosivists, it's going to go down. And I think I saw the Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, coming into play. That there was going to be an announcement via Rishi Sunak. It was, oof. Um... Hi, Sylvester. How are you? Hi, Kenneth. How are you? Um, so. I will tell you this, Mama G. When Harry takes up residence and has an apartment in the UK. This shit's gonna hit the fan. Watch. Watch. What he know as familiar will now be behind him, right? Nothing familiar for him. Oh, wow. He can't have the kingdom, guys. He can't have the kingdom. This entitlement is what this card represents. He can't have it. The people will not want to look upon him. Is there hope? I hope there's hope for you. There's movement. Family. Lovers. 
lovers means in this case I keep going over lovers and lovers and lovers keeps coming up it's a choice or do they have the choice or does a new star take over mm. Does a new star take over? Notice how how the, the star is in the dark of night. On top of the lover's choice. Not that William cheated because he did cheat, but that's not what this represents. This represents people not realizing that there's, there's a choice that they're going to have to make. And the choice is going to be based upon morals. Morals. Right? Um, choice. Adjustment. A major choice. The tree of life, torn between two, until death does us part. This could also be maybe not a choice between Harry and William, but a choice as to whether William should step down permanently. That's what I think it represents more. I don't think this is going to be in the people's hands. And notice the angel here, right? Does William have to step down? The angel represents his morals, but the angel also could represent someone not wanting to live anymore. Like, are things that bad? Like, is, it, is this something that's hard to face? Is he stepping down from not wanting to be king? <clears throat> okay. I see that things are changing. He may make an announcement. They're negotiating right now. And he may make an announcement to step down. Because what's happening to Kate, they can't correct. They can't fix it. Even if they're looking for a doppelganger, they can't fix this. They already know that they can't find a defined lookalike. They also know at this stage of the game, there's nobody that can actually take the role and keep the secret. I really feel like the fact that they had to admit to the prime minister what's actually going on is where all these negotiations are taking place. I also feel like they're all at Sangram, <clears throat> free from wiretapping, and this is where all the conversation and events are taking place. 
William will make a speech. And William will say, I have to step down because my wife is too ill and I have to be there for her. I feel like he will say, I am stepping down permanently. Oh my God. Oh my God, he has to step down. I feel like he will say that his aunt, Princess Anne, will pick up much of his duties, but that's not the role that she is supposed to be stepping into by no means. But Andrew Capito, his mother, we, we, we took everything away from him. The other brother, other brother, I believe his name is Edward, he stepped down. He's like, fuck this shit. Um, William has to step down, guys. And he has to step down while the king is still here. Because they want to make you all believe that the monarch is still intact. That you focus more on the king, that you, you don't focus on anyone else. Focus on the king. It feels like it's a solid plan, right? So remember that brick wall I showed you? Look how solid that brick wall is, right? Look, it's solid. They're happy with the decisions that they've all came to a conclusion to, even though everybody is arguing and fighting and pointing fingers and it's your fault, it's your fault. But ultimately, they believe they've come to a great decision, right? But remember this. Remember that? Look at that wall. Look at it. Look at the cracks. Look how uneven that wall is pasted together, right? As opposed to this, which is solid. You'd have to break that wall with a bulldozer. All right. Now, it's in the past. This is my past role. It's in the past. So these idiots think they came up with a great plan finally. William has to step down, and they're going to do it in such a way where he takes control, he makes the announcement, he tells everyone Kate's not getting better. I have to be there for my for my kids. They have to hear it from his mouth. He steps down. He puts the UK in crisis, right? And that's when the people fight back. That's when they say, oh, hell no. And the person that gets the burden is Anne. And Anne is not going to like that at all. So then the monarch has to shut down again. Wow. Oh my God. That could be Kate and William right here. This is the cover-up card, right? Right? That's the cover-up card, right? The, her the high priest. Nope. Nope. They are going to be defending 
that decision once William steps down. They're gonna de- they're gonna be defending it because everybody is gonna call bullshit. That's when the UK people will wake up. They'll wake up then, guys. Wow. Past, present, future. One of the children are involved in this mess. Things happening very, very fast once he steps down. Because I think people are going to be like, where are the children? What's happening to the children? I think people are, are like not happy. Like once William is forced to step down, and claim that he's, you know, I'm going to care for my wife, you know, whatever, you bullshit liar. Then people are going to worry about the family in general, right? The castle. One of the children is going to add to his karma. We'll talk about that when he's ready to talk. I, you heard me. I said he. Um, it's going to come down to money and financially supporting uh, this train wreck that's happening. That's what it's going to come down to. And the three of swords. Now, the three of swords, which I think is going to take the biggest beating, is going to be King Charles, William, and Anne. Anne is going to be pissed. Let me tell you right now, Anne is not happy because William gets to escape all the bullshit. Walk away. Let's see. Sign of justice. Oh Lord, I was hoping to stop here. All right, can't stop here. Him having the ability to walk away is bullshit. The the buildings could get things thrown at it. Don't ask me why I see that in this card, but the buildings could get things thrown at it. Let me just bring this a little closer so you guys could see. Um, I get a man here or a king of cups. You know, man or a king of cups. All right. I get justice. I still see where William could get arrested. I get death. And this could be justice cause of a death. I'm kind of getting it literal. Right? And I get Diana. And that's when it's going to hit the UK. That's when they're going to realize they failed Diana and they failed Kate. Is Kate going to be with Diana? Stop here. Oh, Lord. The family structure will be under some legal scrutiny now. Everything has to start over. Everything. Everything. Everything you've ever believed in a monarch. You cannot believe in them anymore. Everything. Everything has to change. And it comes in the form of either King Charles acknowledging the truth 
or having to replace William? What's Harry's sign? What's Harry? He's a Virgo. Shit, I was hoping I could stop. Can't stop. <sighs> this is a pregnancy. This is another pregnancy. Remember we talked about this involving a pregnancy possibly that he, William, was not happy about at all. Potential birth of a little boy, but I'm also getting another child that may have witnessed what daddy did. I get an earth sign man. I get, this is the castle. And I get working hard. Right? Remember the Sussex logo. So I feel like this is Harry, even though we don't see the face, making his way back to the castle. And I get Harry again. All right, can I stop here, guys? I'm talking to spirit. Can I stop here? I'm going to look. Three more cards. I just want to stop here. I was waiting to get a King of Wands because I always associate Harry with the King of Wands. Time's up, guys. Time's up. The monarch is going to have to admit their wrongs, whatever that looks like. Now, remember, who was here early, early on? Who was here? Queen of Wands. Oh, mess. It's a mess. This is a mess. What are you guys seeing? This is a mess. Apple fell from the tree and took root. Mm. Tracy, shameful, scandalous. A bunch of royal, ruthless murderers. You know, they actually have murder in the family. This, this wouldn't be the first time. It's in their blood. You're welcome, Rhonda. Harry should let it burn. I think the I think the problem is it's not about the monarch. Remember, it's Pluto in Aquarius. If the monarch falls, the people are in chaos. Now, let's tie that into America. If there's a change of hands in the UK, there's a change of hands in America. That's just a hint, people. The hint. Chaos is going to reign, but it has to be 
twins. So they fall, we fall. It's going to affect everything and everyone. That's what you get, UK, for buying up all of the world and saying, you belong to me. That's Pluto in Aquarius. <sighs> Guys, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. I think the shocker is how William exits and he will give a speech. Okay. All right, guys, let's do this one more time. All right. You know, I like you. I'm just going to pick the ball on you. I like you. Okay. Let's flash it. This is really scary, guys. This is ridiculous. All right, I'm going to leave it like that, but I'm just too tired. Rescuer. Huh. A rescuer provides strength and support to others in crisis. Acts out of love with no expectation for rewards. Who does that sound like to you? Does that sound like William to you? Who does that sound like to you? Who do you think is going to step up to the plate? Harry. 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 Mm. Yes. For sure. This is messy. countries will this affect? I am the village idiot, just like daddy. This makes me so sad, William. So this is William's life after the BAFTA Awards. He is clowning because he's just trying to enjoy the next few days of freedom. That doesn't mean he's going to get arrested. It just means he winds up in exile, pretending to take care of his wife. Oh, no, no. I'm not drained. No, 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 no. I'm not drained. I can handle this. 
I, I, I knew all of this, guys. I, when, when Queen Mum died, I saw all of this. Nobody believed me. I was like, Harry's going to take over. They were like, ugh, what a stupid psychic. You're the worst psychic ever. Nobody in the UK believed me. I was laughed at. And now look. <laughs> I thought the United States was messy. Wait for it. Trump is walking around with some goddamn gold sneakers to sell. Wait. There's more to come to the U.S. Wait. Oh, my God. That's why I haven't done any readings on the U.S. Because something's coming, too. Oh, my God. All right, guys. You guys are amazing. My psychic detectives, you guys already know the story. Now, what the world knows and what you guys know is two different things. The U.K. Oh, that's what I was going to look. How many countries does the UK own? Hi, Ayana. What's no mom? What does that mean? Baby. Yes, John. Baby, oh, yeah, yeah. Give me one second. It is heavy. Okay, and I didn't eat dinner yet, so I'll take just a couple of oxtail. Okay, all right, no problem. Okay, thank you. I am living in a community where these people really just take care of each other, child. I mean, oh, okay, he wants me to put his oxtails in the freezer. These people really, like, I have never been a part of a group of people so kind and loving. Now we wait and watch. I, I don't, I think you're asking, like, way too many questions, right, without just looking at the facts. William is a drunk and he's violent. William hurt Kate. Kate will not be seen until November. William is running around at parties, drunk and looking goofy as fuck. No one is understanding what's going on with the kids because they pull the kids out of school. I want to see if the kids come back to school. How long are they on vacation for? Um, so I think you're asking, like, too much questions and so you're convoluting the conversation and it's not that deep there are facts here williams are drunk williams appearing in public drunk kate is missing the children are also missing don't get it twisted they have not been seen in school um, and King Charles has cancer. That's all we know. These are facts. Yeah, I don't know if legally Camille has a foot in his game. That's the problem. Oh, I got your hair oil today and it smells so good. Thank you, Tracy. You're quite welcome. My hair oil, easy breezy rosemary oil. Thank you, Jonathan. Get your hair oil from Azon Mer TracyBrownLive.com. Where's the banner? Tracy Brown Live. Oh, here it is. 
TracyBrownLife.com. Pretty green that is. I didn't even think about Easter and the mac and cheese. Well, I'll just make these bowls of mac and cheese. You love my mac and cheese, Jack. Let's make it. Don't you love the hair oil picture, Pre? Don't you love that? Yes. Thank you, Chantel. Thank you so much. All right. Have a wonderful night, everyone. All right. Don't forget, we are. I'm starting to set up my um, my. Um, I'm starting to send out the Zoom links for the watch party March 17th and 18th. It's a two-day event, so come join me for this Nickelodeon documentary. And by the way, these oh, where's everybody? Right there. Rosemary oil. These are the same people who made Britney Spears' documentary that released her from her confinement and conservatorship. That judge got so scared after that documentary. These are the same people. So come join me, everyone. Just email me at tracybrownlive.com. And thank you, guys. Watch the trailer. In the early 90s, Nickelodeon was kid everything. And you better hope that your house had cable. We wasn't there to educate you. We were there to have fun, to get slimed, to be entertained. And this is when Dan Schneider arrives. Nickelodeon's golden boy. He created these shows that were hugely successful for them. No one had ever really done sketch comedy starring kids for kids. He launched the careers of child actors who became major stars. For 20 years, he shaped children's entertainment and culture. Hey, thank you for being here. But that marked one of the darkest chapters. Working for Dan was like being in an abusive relationship. Dan's treatment of people on his shows was an open secret. So my lawyer filed complaints, gender discrimination, hostile work environment, harassment, and it was so devastating. How safe can any kids be in that environment? There would be even bigger problems down the line with actual pedophiles on set. These are three predators who worked at Nickelodeon, all in a short amount of time. Hey okay, guys, so we're ready for you. It was a toxic environment. It made me trust people less. We were there for so many hours. You get comfortable with people until you're not. I had no idea what I was saving my son from. It was a house of horrors. They find this enormous trove of child pornography. The officer said we found Ziploc bags, each one with a girl's name on it. 11 charges of child sexual abuse related to a child actor. It made me wonder who was being hurt. I've been waiting 17 years for today. It wasn't dealing with anybody on the shows or anything, right? It was a child actor. On one of our shows? Yes. Have you ever told your story publicly before? 